Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm starting off today this vlog in a salon. I'm with Beauty Works and I'm getting my hair styled. I'm with my manager Emily. There is a guy, there is someone on no call ID that keeps calling me. It's it is so, weird. so annoying. Like it is actually yeah, so annoying. Like get a job, bro. Yeah, like honestly, I I answered the phone call. Well, I keep answering. I probably shouldn't keep answering it. I answered the phone call and no one's talking. No. Like no one is talking. I'm going, I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> No, but like, they're going to catch you. It's more the fact that they just keep calling and I'm just like, go away. Also, nails falling off, not the vibe, but that's also getting fixed. And I've decided that I want to live in Durban Junction, so... And she wants to get diamonds put on her team. Yeah, like that, like a diamond. Also, this salon is absolutely stunning. Like, wow. Literally unreal. So guys, this quote is so true. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. Whoa. And I actually already washed my hair this morning, so it seemed a bit silly to wash my hair again. But I definitely do feel like I need a tone in my hair because I just love having like that cooler tone. And I've got that natural hair that just goes brassy so quickly. Yeah. All done. Now I've got to go back to Emily's and eat some random food for socials that you guys will see very soon. Guys. Can I just ask why I come over to Emily's house to do some content, you know, film a YouTube video, which is the trying air fried sweets that will be up on my channel either now or <laughs> soon. I oh, know, not air fried. That would be an unreal like, idea. Freeze, freeze air dry. freeze, yeah. freeze air. What is it called? Freeze dried. Freeze dried, right. Anyway, and then we've just sat on the sofa with a cup of tea. I'm thinking I'm going to be driving home. And then it just, yeah, it just got to like nine or half eight. And I was like, don't really want to drive home. And now we're just saying, you know what we're doing? We're cooking curry noodles and we've both got a glass of brew. Not oh. champagne, not Prosecco, brew. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we are happy about it. Mm. And you know what? Summer is literally around the corner. I've had a massive fish and chips. I'm actually still fairly full from the fish and chips. I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot. Honestly, I actually felt sick from, I don't think I brought out my camera, but we went to the pub down the road and we had fish and chips, which by the way, it was the best fish and chips ever. But it was, it's the castle um, in, in Tooting. Um, and yes, we went there and honestly, they've got the best fish and chips. If you like fish and chips, go there, it's unreal. And we had it with fries instead of actual chunky <coughs> chips, just FYI. I don't know if anyone would ever do that just to this video, but here we are. Um, and honestly, it was literally like the most filling thing ever. Mm. Wasn't it? So good. So the only thing I've eaten all day and I'm still so full from it. And I have a big appetite. Same. Can't stop. Usually I'm like constantly like picking or whatever, but no. And then now, oh, focus. oh my home is Oh, let's just ignore all of the mess <laughs> and just focus on the needles. And then we also tried our freeze freezer. <laughs> what is actually wrong with me? You're having a mare. I'm actually having a mare. There's a lot going on in my personal life as well. Cheers that. <laughs> And yeah, life's just a bit cray cray at the moment, but here we are, living for the thrill. Hey guys, so it's now a couple of days later hey and hey, we're doing a content day. So yeah, I've just had my makeup done by Han. What's your um, handle again? Makeup by Han X. Makeup by so Han original. X. And can I just say, it's one of my favourite glams ever, honestly. It's unreal. And now we're gonna go shoot content. Actually, no, we're not. Murray's gonna quickly do my hair and then we're gonna go shoot content. Murray's come back from LA. He's an LA boy now. I'm an LA boy now. Cali boy. Oh, what is that? I don't have any sleep 
because she oh, yeah. is annoying. Oh my god. I'm never in my life shooting a room with her again. So um, I said to Murray, I was like, oh, did you have a good night's sleep? And he was like, no. Um, no. Apparently I was screaming, going, we've got to go. No. How are we going to get there? How are we going to get there? How are we getting back? How are we getting back? Hi. Screaming. Then cuddled into me like a koala bear, as in like this. It's because I just love cuddling in. Mm, Guys, are. I had, so I don't know whether I've said actually on here, but we shot my eye first, I saw it first. Oh, I said it on live. We've been going TikTok live on and off today. But I've shot my first, I saw it first yes, shoot, yeah. literally in this area, like this exact area in Notting Hill. And we had the same problem. By the way, I've got French. It's only a clip in French. Um, where everyone just literally hates you if you're taking any sort of picture on the road. Like, it doesn't matter if you're literally on a public place, which we are, because obviously we're not going into anyone's private property to take a picture. Like, we're literally taking it on the road. Like, how anyone would do it. And they absolutely hate it around here. But yeah, that is, that's the run over for the day. This is my fringe. I didn't properly introduce it. I am honestly obsessed. And the fringe is gone. I, I do feel like I prefer it then. Yeah. Like it gives some sort of like dimension. So next look is, should we do the lace? So we've got the lace and then we've got the... Just a shirt dress. It's really sort of, I went for like really spring, summer vibes today. But we're having a great day. This is very successful, this one. It has mm. been. And I absolutely love the outfits as well. Zara at the moment are absolutely killing it guys. So if you are in need of any new spring, summer stuff look at zara new in and also people don't really like going on the zara website but that is Can I know? no that's the only way i, I shop zara oh really i, I do it all so. through the website oh, who's the i hate shopping in person yeah hey guys so we're now at a place called cherry on and it's in notting hill with Gorge, Emily, having a lovely soy latte with sugar-free vanilla syrup, because, you know, girl's got to do what she's got to do. Amen. What's that? I've got a tropical crush smoothie. Very nice. And um, we've actually had a really good day today. We haven't done, like, loads of looks. I tried on the last look, which I don't know whether will be on my Instagram yet, and if it's not, Instagram's handles here to keep an eye out. It was in, it was a full lace. There you go. Everyone's included here, but apparently. Oh, quickly, what I'm, what I'm gonna say really quickly. The full set with the black underwear underneath was just giving. It was giving sexy cat on Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is currently the 27th of April. It's my mum's birthday in two days. And it is, what time is it? What time is it? 11.55. And I woke up at 10.30 this morning. I literally can't believe it. I feel like I definitely needed that. For the last few days, I've been waking up so early at like 6.30 for various different reasons. And for me, that is like the middle of the night. So for me to wake up at 10.30 was just like, oh, it was so nice. I think I did wake up at like nine and then I just went back to sleep. It's currently three to 12, so it's literally 11.57. My appointment for my micro needling on my face, which many of you may know I get, um, is at 12. So I need to rush in, it's literally just there. And I thought I'd bring you along with me because when I actually posted on my Instagram story, I got so many questions on, microneedling and how it's done and I thought I'll just bring you along. So this is where I go, Hello by Annabelle. So this is Laura's lovely room. <laughs>
that is, is that that side done? That's that part done. Oh well. We're gonna move up to the forehead now. Arms. You have any what? Have you got achy arms? No, no what? <laughs> I'm actually okay. I thought I was gonna get achy arms. No, guys, this is actually oh, where it's. <laughs> it's not for the faint hearted there. This is not for the faint hearted. So, what we're doing is we're putting the peel back over the micro needling, needled peel skin before. So, it's really getting into the pores, isn't it? Yeah, so we're basically, we've, we've needled into a depth of sort of like one millimeter around the skin. We're going to reapply the, the peel so that it goes through those micro channels. And penetrates deep into the dermis which is where it's going to really kind of work to target all the free radicals and all the cells that are causing all the damage um, and really kind of press that reset button back to the middle for me honey nice deep breath for me so it can feel quite hot at the moment and this will probably tell you that um she's not mm -hmm. going to kill me mm -hmm. but it's very very temporary while i'm rubbing it until away from me we work quite quickly in this part just to get it in and cause least discomfort possible. It feels like my face is on fire. Yeah, which is completely normal. Mm. I know. As soon as I stop touching it, it will feel fine again. And it starts to cool down and then we put a lovely cold face mask on to chill everything out. That is the worst part. It's still burning, but like you can sort of deal with it. It's when you're rubbing it in. It just gets hotter and hotter, doesn't it? But it's good. good. Right, guys, I'm gonna see you in eight minutes. Right, so guys, we are now taking off the pill. So just work around. Just wiping it. And it's just being like neutralised basically with water. We don't have to use like a special product to neutralise it. No. Oh, the baby's kicking. <gasps> Loads. It's really kicking. Oh! <laughs> does like, it feel really wet? Yeah, it does feel really bizarre. Because sometimes I forget as well. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh god, like, what's going on there? It's getting harder and harder now because it's obviously like getting further along. Um, so some of them are really hard during the day. And I'm like, oh gosh. Aww. Okay, so that's off with the water. I'm just gonna use some Cliniceps just to clean the skin. This is just um, good for your like, after procedures and just really disinfecting everything. And then we're gonna put some SPF on just to finish off. And as you know, wearing your SPF after treatments um, with like chemical pills and microneedling is so, so important. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll run through your aftercare, but it's things like not drinking for kind of 24 hours, mm -hmm. no saunas, no hot tubs, no exercise, um, so that we just let the skin kind of recuperate. Um, and heal up nicely, and then the process, as you know, 
it's sort of like the skin starts to feel like quite tight for a few days mm -hmm. um, and you just keep applying SPF um, and then after sort of like days like would you say like three to five two to five mm -hmm. is when you start to get like a little bit of a peel basically and the skin starts to shred which is great because I'm going to a festival on Sunday <laughs> but it's what it is usually with a bit of makeup over the pill you can't even really notice yeah, that exactly and we say like no makeup for sort of like 24 48 hours mm -hmm. um which lucinda knows already and we always plan that kind of around events and things like that but then once that shed has finished like the skin looks incredible doesn't it mm. like the glow that comes from it good that feels unreal so that red quickly list. laura what's your instagram because my phone is about to run out it's laura jane rdh guys quickly look at my face it actually looks so glossy and then these will all basically peel away won't they yeah those areas will shred more than the others probably and the redness will start to settle even like after an hour it doesn't take long yeah it won't stay like that for days no i won't look like this for very long this is literally like maximum an hour but yeah I look so shiny. Hey guys, it's now the next day and I'm getting my hair done. I'm with the lovely Hi. Poppy <laughs> at PS Hair Extensions. I'm in Ken. And obviously because I'm going to Ibiza next week, I'm thinking, let's go blonde. However, my natural hair, so this is my natural hair. My natural hair is exactly the longest, most healthiest thing in the world. Yeah, Poppy's helping me basically make it more healthy um when i first came here there was breakage at the root and would you say there still is no no it's grown half so then the roots are nice and healthy yeah we just need to get the length to come down now and it's also this front bit as well yeah. like but i don't think well the lady was saying she doesn't think it's that's bleach damage no she thinks that's just over face framing yeah been a lot, yeah. It's quite a sharp, isn't it? Yeah. Look, this is really long, long when it's really shaped, it was straight, it's a bit too harsh. Yeah, it is slightly too harsh. But then under here is also like really dark because my natural hair is so so dark. So what we're doing today is we are brightening it up, um, slightly. Bleach, KAT, she's putting a KAT treatment to basically re yeah, help with the damage, prevent damage, sorry. And then she's doing the reverse money piece at the back yeah. of my head. Yeah. Look at me! I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Um, reverse money piece at the back of my head because, um, well, basically, whenever I put up my hair, it's really dark at the back because. I hardly ever get um, dark back just because we're trying to obviously build up my hair but I think it's got to the point where I actually do need dark at the back now because when I put my hair up the back of the ponytail is always really dark so we need to just brighten up a little bit as well but yeah I'm going to take you along with me in the process I actually woke up at um, 7 o'clock this morning because I had to leave at half 7 Kent's actually well this side of Kent, Tunbridge Wells, is only less than an hour away. So I left at half seven this morning. I actually was so hungry when I got here. I parked the car and then I just typed up a shop near me. Yeah. And then I went into that shop down there. You know the one that we usually get like yeah. sandwiches from? Yeah. And I said to them, do you just sell like a croissant? Like just a normal croissant. And this woman, it was like she literally knew what I wanted. She came out with these freshly baked, warm, Frassons and pan of chocolates and was like, hey guys. And I was like, you know this bakery literally two years ago. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But I just thought this woman could just read my mind. It was just unreal. And honestly, this Christmas this morning was so nice. And then, yeah, it was so lovely. And then I had a nice cappuccino in the place that Poppy usually works. And then now we're in the gallery, which is a hair salon a couple of doors down, getting my hair dyed.
this is getting serious. Oh, it's getting serious. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy. Okay, flip, flip, flip. No. Okay. Flip. Okay, that one. Guys, my natural hair is in full force right now. What on earth is that? A coconut, raspberry and coconut slice. <laughs> Raspberry and coconut slice. I've never seen anything like that before. No, I don't like coconut. Oh, yeah, you won't like this then. No. Give a taste test. Okay. <laughs> I hate them. Oh. Hmm. I thought you meant you hate the raspberry and coconut slice. I was thinking, no. Oh. Mm. Moist. It's giving nice. Six out of ten. Hmm. Could be better, could be worse. Oh my god, sorry, I'm not sure if I've called it. I'm then munching in the background. <laughs> Oh, so Can you see ginger. your hair in the camera? Look how, look, how much. But you meant my hair is so ginger. No. So basically, what we have been saying is that my natural hair, some this looks not exactly the longest hair in the world. But ladies and gents, for me, natural hair wise, it's quite good. As said before, I've had a lot of breakage over obviously over styling, going from no. brunette when I had that like young life crisis where i just <laughs> is that a thing apparently so i had a young i actually had a young life crisis where like i just thought let's just go like really really dark did not suit me at all told you all about this before i cried it was awful and then obviously i've been trying to build up my blonde since but it was never going to be an immediate thing i was obviously all my natural hair would have just slapped slapped off so now with poppy's help it is looking better and we've also got much blonder which i'm so happy about My hair is all done. I'm now walking into Tunbridge Wells city centre. I've just dropped Emily off at the train station and because it's my mum's birthday tomorrow, obviously there's a rush to get every single thing that a mum needs for her birthday, aka, well, my mum needs, which she doesn't need, but I feel like it's become a tradition. I always get her balloons, obviously always get her a card. Um, I don't know what the present's gonna be yet. Social anxiety whilst filming, hold on. So, Oh my god, a group of girls just came over and they were literally so sweet. They were the people that I was getting so anxiety over. So now I'm just deciding what cake to get my mum. I just don't know, like, I sort of am leaning towards this red velvet cake. It's not normally, like, an option I would usually go for, but why does it actually look quite nice? Or this extremely chocolatey white chocolate and strawberry cake. Or decorate your own. Loaded chocolate caramel cake. Oh chocolate and caramel millionaires dribble cake okay this is the one i'm going for i think i don't know whether my mum's like a proper chocolate cake fan but or well, obviously there's calling the caterpillar but i don't think that's for my mum i would want this oh, love um oh there's all of these but I feel like these aren't big enough. Like these just look too small because all of her friends are coming over. So I'm gonna go for this one. This one will do. Right, current sitch. I'm boiling. God, that all ended up to be a bit chaotic in there. Um, so I've got my mum, lovely cake, obviously got balloons as you can see. Got, right, so. I got numbers for how old she is to put on the cake, but is it like a secret thing when you're like past like 50? Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know whether, oh, my mum's literally not like that at all, so I don't think she cares. And then I got myself some olives, M&S olives, so I'm going to try. I keep seeing M&S food all over TikTok at the moment. It is really expensive M&S. Greek olives with garlic, pimento, 
and jalapeno. Yeah, they're nice. Next up, slow roasted. This is like really random stuff I got. Slow roasted tomatoes and Italian mozzarella. Right. It's 10 to, 10 to 6. Well, almost quarter to 6. And I've been in Tunbridge Wells since... Oh, that's quite awkward. I've been in Tunbridge Wells since half eight. Oh, and I'm parked outside someone's house and they've come out, but this is a parking space, so that's what it is, right? And then, by the way, I only got three because it was three for eight pounds, so if I see any deal, even if it's just saving a pound and spending more than I probably normally would have, I'll just go for it. What is going on there? How very odd. Right, four smokehouse pulled pork sausage rolls. I what he's doing. I actually don't know why I bought these because I won't be able to even eat one of these. I'm actually not that hungry. Right. Mm. Mm. I feel like they'll be nice and warm. I feel like they would also be very filling. Guys, don't you think that like life is so expensive at the moment? Like, I feel like everything is so expensive. Like, I can't get over the fact that back in the day, I have just gone to M&S, so like I do get the fact that like M&S is really expensive. But back in the day, eight pounds in a supermarket. I feel like even M&S, eight pounds in a supermarket would get you like double, double that. Right, so. I'm gonna go quickly actually before I do go. I wanna show you what my car does because honestly it's so annoying and if anyone's got a Range Rover Evoke. So we'll go like this, this is Apple CarPlay and then it will just go off. And then it'll go on and then it'll go off. And it is honestly so annoying. Like it just, and also it's only some leads that this happens to, um, which is obviously so, so annoying. So that is one bad thing about having a Range Rover. But anyway, what do we think of the hair? love the hair i'm loving the fact i'm very slightly blonde and i feel like once my skin has cleared up a little bit as well i'll be back to oldie cinder which i'm here for but anyway i'm gonna go drive home love you all lots and see you back home it's no, 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 my no, no, mum's no. birthday tomorrow she's hiding because she doesn't have any makeup on but look at these balloons that i got how lovely one of them says Wonderful mum, one of them's a gold balloon and I know you like silver but the gold no, sort of cooperated with the bond. Pink, bond's here. Are you going to go to my night? Maybe. Probably. Bruno! Hi baby! Hi baby Bruno! Hello baby! Oh, he just All he wants is just a cuddle. Come on, up and get with me. Come on, let's go. Everybody just wants to cuddle up the stage. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, honey. Right, what well, are we going to ball? Let's do it. I look crazy. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh, I've got. <laughs> Mum, this is Mum's Friday night. <laughs> God, for all. <laughs> me and Bonnie are on the way. To the bowl. To the bowl. The standard. Standard. Not really on a Friday, because to be fair, it's good weather, and it's a bank holiday, yeah, and we're too... I'm so happy it's about to get so much better. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Mindset. But you'd think two single girls would be hitting the town right now, but yeah, no. No, we're in our slops, ready for a bottle of whiskey. Literally Western wearing Angel. trackies. <laughs> but yeah, we're just on the way to the pub. And that's it, really. That's the update. I'll catch you in the pub having a nice class of wine. Morning, everyone. I'm now starting this day on my mum's birthday. It's currently, well, it's now in the afternoon, um, just at my house. Um, 
I'm not thinking straight. You know why I'm not thinking straight? Because I had too much wine last night with Bonnie at the bowl, which you last saw me at. And um, I completely forgot that I had a personal training session at 7 a.m. I had to wake up at 6.30 a.m. I went to bed about 1 a.m. So I literally had like five hours sleep. I had a personal training session. I was still slightly tipsy. Definitely still drunk. I literally, afterwards, I felt so sick. But anyway... I've been up since six, which is so unlike me. If you know me, I literally wake up really late. I'm like such a morning lion girl. If there's any excuse to lie in, then I will be lying in. Anyway, it's now my mom's birthday. So she's just got all of her friends over um, at our house. I've just quickly gone to the car to get my camera, but honestly, this is the current Hello. Vicky's here. Vicky's sister. And everyone is here. Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> he is honestly Jake's double. It's funny, isn't it? He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Ewan's currently Build a trying to fix. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, she needs to tighten them up now, then we're sorted. So, Fraser got my mum an ice bucket, but then it's also a speaker, but the speaker bit comes from top. So, when we put it down without these bits on it, obviously it sounded like it was underwater because it's pressing against the floor. So, Ruben, build a bar, has it down. Sorry, but what on earth is going on? You can't put that there. It has to go on the floor. It's too big. Oh my God. <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> he is so not with it. You can't even hear anything. He actually can't hear us. Yeah, I can tell. I can totally tell. Right, let's wait for the music. <laughs> So it's now a few days after my mum's birthday. So it's now the 2nd of May. It's bank holiday over, Tuesday, brand new day. I'm actually about to go live on TikTok with Colorbell. However, I'm gonna end the vlog here and then maybe start another one up. I'm also gonna do a couple of sit down videos soon as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd end it here. I'm not having the best day up here wise. But that's okay, we all have those days and it's normal, isn't that a bee? Yes, it's very normal. Very normal, I feel like a lot is happening, a lot of stuff is coming at me in different directions. And I was doing my makeup and just listening to like an inspirational speech. Do you know what, there's some really good podcasts, like good mindset podcasts, like Mindset Millionaire, stuff like that, they're really good, like inspiration. Uplifting. Yeah, like get your, get your ass in there, yeah. like have fun, like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That would be 100% because sometimes in life it all happens at the same time and you just yeah, feel yeah. like what is going on. But it's okay. It's okay. It will all be okay. Mum's here. And yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go on the train now because I'm actually running slightly late. It's 11.46 and my train's at like 12. But I want to go get some food at Sainsbury's so I'm definitely going to be late. What do you think? I'm always late. I don't know why you're saying I'm Yeah, I'll just have to get another train, won't I? I will. Love you guys all lots, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.